welcome to my channel. I'm Mary. And if you are interested and would like to learn more about gardening, home decor, holiday decorating, crafts, house plants, anything to make your house a beautiful home and a welcoming home, then you're at the right place. And you can start by clicking on the red subscribe button and the little bell right now. Today, friends, I am going to be participating in a challenge that is hosted by Heidi Sonbull and Crystal Hansen. Thanks, girls, for doing this wonderful challenge because it is called DIY Painting Ideas. I'm a very big fan of using paint in your home. Instead of going out and buying everything brand new, if you have a change in your um, uh, decorating uh, scheme and you know your taste over the years you can just change everything by using paint and that's what we're going to do today at my daughter's house she is uh, slowly changing her house from sort of a Tuscan look to a brighter lighter look and we will be working in her powder room so I'm gonna take you there now to have a look at its appearance right now at the current time <laughs> Here's the area that we will be uh, doing a makeover for. And as you walk in to this little powder room, there is a pedestal sink and a mirror. The light fixture is a brushed nickel, so it will do fine in this new decor we are going to be adding to this small powder room. So as you can see, this is a very dark brown color and even the ceiling is painted that same shade. And so it does make this room seem even smaller than it actually is. And we have one piece of artwork hanging here on this wall. And then in this corner over here, we do have room to add uh, a small cabinet, so we will be doing that. The floor is not in too bad of shape, but you will see that we will be painting the walls a light gray color, and we will be transforming this the best we can. Another thing I wanted to share is that um, my daughter's dog, when he was a puppy, did some scratching and chewing on this, um, the molding around the door here. So we're going to be trying to sand that down a little and paint over it so that it's not so visible. So those are our jobs, painting, adding some decor, and transforming this into a lighter and brighter space. All right, so here we are. My daughter is here putting on the first coat of uh, this light gray color over this very dark brown, as I showed you earlier. And oh my goodness, doesn't it look so much better? So Hannah, what do you think? Is it, whoops, grandson trying to get in the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> So anyway, what do you think, Hannah? Do you think it's gonna take two coats for this? Definitely to cover up this dark color. All right, so that means it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, this job. But you can see it's already quite an improvement. Of course, the paint is still drying, but you can see that it looks rather uneven because of the dark brown color underneath. So as we said, we'll be doing a second coat, but we got the ceiling done, of course, as well. And oh my goodness, this room looks larger and just way brighter. What an improvement on this small powder room. And I'll be back again to show you um, the second coat and how it looks. Okay, now, uh, my daughter has just about finished up the second coat. 
and things are looking fantastic here in her powder room. Such a good paint job, Hannah. Oh, thank you. I have my sandpaper here, and I don't have a lot of sanding to do, so I think it'll be just fine uh, to complete what I need to do right here, and then a little bit on the baseboard. So, very simply, just the smoothing out this, um, I think it's MDF, this is not real wood. The trim molding. Putting the first coat on the part of the trim molding that was eaten up by her puppy. And we're doing one coat now first so we can let it dry. And then I'm sure it will need a second coat. And of course, it's not going to look perfect, but it will sure look better. And then she will continue and do the baseboards and all the trim around the door. chose this little ladder which is a towel hanger for uh, hand towels in her powder room and we hung it just the other day we hung it with this little hook from Hobby Lobby and then uh, we added this really cute little um, succulent wreath also from Hobby Lobby and the ladder is actually from Amazon. If you're interested in any of these things, such as this ladder uh, towel bar, go ahead and ask me about it in the comments and I can give you a link for it. Um, now, of course, the uh, pedestal sink is here still, and we've added a sort of farmhouse looking trash can to the space. I have a gray colored towel that we got, hmm, I think we got this at Target. We have two hand towels, one for a backup. And then we purchased this two uh, level shelf at Hobby Lobby the other day. And that gives us a chance to do some cute decorating on it. And then here's the um, painting sort of DIY that I did on another video. And then we also got this little cabinet at Target. And this was one of those cabinets that you have to assemble yourself. So it was a good price. And of course, you know, we use our coupons and buy things when they're on sale. Now, our next step will be to be adding some decor to the powder room. Let's do it. So let's take a final look at my daughter's powder room. So as you can see, we have a towel hanging here on the ladder towel bar, very farmhouse looking. And then here we've added some soap, some liquid soap to the pedestal sink. Um, over here, we've placed a little Be Happy 
sign and it is made of uh, metal, galvanized sort of metal. And then up on the shelf, isn't this cute? Adding some faux plants, ivy and succulents, and of course a little birdie and a candle. And then as we come around over here to the little cabinet that we added to um, this area, which gives my daughter storage room for things like toilet paper <laughs> and cleaning supplies. Because as you know, when you have a pedestal sink, you just have no storage space. So this works out perfectly. And then this flower arrangement is one that I did and we've added it here on top with a cute little bluebird. Isn't that darling? I got her at Hobby Lobby and oh my goodness, so cute. So there you go. There's the transformation of this powder room from uh, kind of stuck back in the 90s to a fresh new look and I know everyone's going to enjoy it. Just love it. Of course, my daughter will be looking for more things to add to her decor as time goes by, and we may share those with you in upcoming videos. I wanted to be sure today to include information about the paint that we used on our DIY project. So the wall paint that we used was a Sherwin-Williams the type of paint is called Ovation, and we used a satin finish, which is good for walls. And then we also, um, you know, had this sort of a gray tint that had a bluish cast to it. And I'm very sorry, I can't tell you the name of the paint because, um, you know, I bought this paint for another project a long time ago and didn't use it. So we used it for my daughter's powder room but it doesn't actually have the name up here on the paint formulation uh, sort of recipe, you know, that they put on top of the paint cans. But um, anyway, this is the type of paint we use, the Ovation for the walls. Now, also for the woodwork and the baseboards that we did, we used this Ovation, uh, sorry, <laughs> Pro Classic Sherwin-Williams paint. And this paint is amazing. We used it with gloss finish and we used um, uh, the color called Extra White. And I love this Pro Classic paint when you're doing woodwork or doors because, very important, it is called a self-leveling paint. So when you're painting, you do have to be careful that you uh, don't have any big globs or big drips as you're painting, uh, you know, whatever it is. However, you know, some paints will leave, you can still see the brush strokes after the paint has dried, but with this Pro Classic, it levels itself out to a completely smooth finish and it, is just fantastic. It looks like a professional did the painting. So if you're ever gonna be doing baseboards, uh, trim around doors, doors themselves, always make sure you buy this Pro Classic. It is a more expensive, but let me tell you, it is so worth the money. Well, friends, just uh, a last final word. Um, I wanted to say thank you again to our hosts of this challenge. And then also, don't forget that there are going to be many other participants that you can um, see their uh, DIY painting ideas. Um, and I'm going to be putting the playlist down below in uh, my description box. So you can just click on that and see many more ideas from other creators. And I hope you enjoyed this idea of how magical and easy it is to transform your home with paint. It's a fantastic and inexpensive uh, way to make a big change in your home. So I'll be back again in my next video. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram 
or Facebook. I'm Rocky Mountain Gardens.